everybody, I'm Iggy. And I'm apparently Crow, I guess. Well, yeah, and we're here for LPFWA. I don't have to whisper all the time. <laughs> but there's this yeah, recurring audio problem that we have every second show, where apparently <laughs> um, whoever's with me can hear themselves. <laughs> like today. It's okay. We, we have a third commentator by default, I suppose, now. Yeah, but only you can hear him. Well. Oh, uh, that, well. That's a... Yeah, that, that's okay. I like the sound of my own voice anyway, so... Same. Maybe I should just uh, echo my my own voice. It's gonna be really nice. <laughs> Best stream ever. Just an endless cacophony of my own voice. I'd watch that. Really? Would you? <laughs> uh, for like a minute or so. But anyways, <laughs> welcome to LPFWA Episode 9, Part 2. <laughs> Well, episode 9 part 2 will be at the end of this episode, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is episode 10 now. So we got a bunch of matches. Here's some losers that are going to be going in a four-way. Uh, good old Palpy, sponsored by Palpatine Go, going up against Woolsey Smythe. Alkite Arecho is making his LPFWA debut tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, his first and... debut ever. Yep, and DCB is going to try for a 75th time to get her first win ever. Let's see how that goes. More than 75 times. Oh, oh, and these jabronis are apparently going to duke it out. Yeah, they're going to do stuff, I guess. Like, they're going to punch and um, throw each other. Yep. Uh, and then at the... Yeah, and then at the very end of our show, some jackass is going to get his shit wrecked by Ric Flair again. <laughs> and that jackass is Kylo Ren. <laughs> Again, that's being redundant. But anyway, here's Dr. Ham. Ah, yes. We haven't seen him in a while. For no reason in particular. Uh, didn't he get his spine broken and, like, he was the only one who could repair it? Uh, maybe, I didn't... I forget. That that could have happened. Something, something horrible irony. Iggy doesn't know how to write video game plots. I mean, to be fair, I, I barely write anything. <laughs> yeah, you, you just open the Renpei window and all of this shit just appears magically. Well, not magically. I'll have to, like, at least copy and paste some stuff. <laughs> and of course, he has to compete for the buskers because of reasons. Those reasons being that, I guess he's he's lost a bunch before he went on hiatus due to like healing himself or something. <laughs> I I don't know. Look, it's the best person ever. Oh, your shirt's on backwards. It's not on backwards. It's on mirrored. <laughs> It, yeah, it's, it's one of those ironic shirts that you, only you can see when you look at it in a mirror. Do those exist? I, I bet they do. Probably, given just how self-absorbed our generation is. Fucking millennials. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's the selfie shirt. It only appears the right way when you take a picture of it in the mirror. <laughs> but 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 that's not how you take selfies anymore. At least t normal people don't do that anymore. They just well, the hipster millennials still take their pictures that way. <laughs> <sighs> the worst. <laughs> but but you know, Iggy's probably one of those hipster millennials with. with I guess that's a hipster beard. Anything can be really? a hipster beard, basically. Like, anything. I was gonna say, that looks more like a disheveled hobo that we literally scooped up out of a ditch somewhere beard. Hey, don't be rude. <laughs> it's my style. <laughs> hey, DZB. <sighs> Sick promo, dude. <laughs> And he's out.
And now uh, poor Jeff, he has to go be shoved back into the closet until we need him again. I, he gets to just walk around. Like, it's not like we lock him in, inside a room or anything. Sure, Iggy, you, you keep telling people that. I, I am. <laughs> oh man, the first match, exciting. <laughs> Is this gonna be a squash again? I I don't know. That that's the thing though. Like, Masked Man and uh, Doctor Ham are actually pretty damn good wrestlers. How the hell did either of them wind up fighting for the Buscus? Well, Masked Man never won for starters, and the only match Doctor Ham won was against the Masked Man. Oh well. <laughs> I think he won some more. I don't know. I. I didn't actually okay, so, bother to check the stats. So this is going to be payback for somebody, maybe? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I, I think... I think uh, Masked Man's finisher is a backbreaker suplex. Which should be <laughs> oh, right the, in line with with what Ham's doing. Oh, the, the irony of it all. Also, why, why does the Buscus belt have a rhinestone G on it? I just noticed that. Um, because... Okay. Should, yes, exactly. I'm glad you understand. Like, sh shouldn't it be like a rhinestone B for Buscus? No, it's, it's a G because... Um, uh, it, it's a G for... It's a G for Jabroni, never mind the fact that Jabroni spelled the J. <laughs> you can spell it with a G if you want, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, the real reason is because uh, the, the G logo thing is um, something... What's he called again? Enzo Mora, yeah, right. He's a... Okay. <laughs> a, uh, a like a, Basically a chopper. <laughs> well... Here comes Dr. Ham on his way from his weekly chiropractor session with Goldberg. I just love the fact that, yeah, he always comes out of Goldberg's locker room. I mean, he's gonna, like, treat his, like, weekly patient there, right? <laughs> just happens to be before his matches all the time. A guy's on tight schedule. <laughs> the man's a hustler. Also, yeah, maybe, maybe DCB's onto something. Maybe the G does stand for Goldberg. No. This is why Doctor Ham. This is why Doctor Ham's fighting for the belt. He's trying to get Goldberg's title back next time he has to go visit him at the uh, chiropractor office. Oh, that makes sense, actually. <laughs> oh, well, wow! We're... That's a good start. Yeah, and now watch the rest of the match be just utter boring shit. Yeah, that's a good suplex. That's not boring. It's also not amazing, but it's definitely boring. <laughs> oh! That... Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, yeah look at them doing their stuff. A, a nice, real physical match, I suppose, just to get the crowd fired up. I mean... The guy's a chiropractor, of course it's physical. <laughs> like... I, I'd be disappointed if it wasn't. <laughs> it's a wrestling match, too, so... Oh, that's nice. Could this be a shift in momentum? I mean, oh, it looks like it. <laughs> so far, anyway. Well, yeah, Ham's getting thrown across the ring, just for funsies. <laughs> mm. Ooh, a sling blade. Mm, yeah, Ma Masked Man's really taking it to him now. I guess he just needs to find his groove. <laughs> oh yeah, high risk from the second rope. Let's see if it pays off. Oh! Oh, it looks like it pays off. <laughs> <laughs> just a drop kick to the face. Just <laughs> the way we like it. Oh, could this be it? One? Nope. Well... Like, a three come this early would be a bit disappointing, wouldn't it? 
Then again, we had a squash match last week, so... <laughs> what do I know? Uh, mm, well, I guess, yeah. Ham had a really good start there, but yeah, no, it's just so far been all mass Man, like, for the past probably two minutes at least. Well, now no Ham's doing stuff again. Look at that. I don't think... The game just purposefully spites me. Anytime I say anything, <laughs> it does the exact opposite. <laughs> Well, then you gotta say the opposite of what you want to happen, and it might happen. I want this game to continue perfectly without fucking up in any way and actually make it through this episode. <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Back and forth. Maybe the match will just end suddenly. Maybe it'll be like last week when we had like a 30 minute match or something and then it ended on like what bullshit one move <laughs> that ne neither of us were paying attention for <laughs> i mean at, at that point we just i think we just all stopped bothering including everybody <laughs> in the audience another drop kick wow that, that guy likes drop kicks also, yeah, once again, I'm going to go with DCB on this. I hope she absolutely loses today. I hope she wins. Well, that's the thing. The game actively spites you, so you have to be counterintuitive with it. I think that's his finisher. Oh, yeah, that looked like a backbreaker. And one, two, three. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Christ, the, hor the horrible irony. The man just got back from having his back broken, only to have his back broken again. <laughs> and, and the only man who could possibly fix him is Dr. Ham. Well, he's going to fix himself. It's not that bad this time, <laughs> I think. Okay, so here's what I want to know now. is Does Ham still keep his entrance with the Buskus belt? Um... No, <laughs> not not the way it is right now. Because the game, uh, the game is the game. So, basically, Mass Man broke his back so hard it killed his intro. <laughs> He'll just straight up get Goldberg's entrance from now on. Just all of it. Just with with all of the ramp like weird flailing and fireworks. Maybe with the security guards too. Oh god, you should do that. Yeah, just Mass Man has stolen Dr. Ham's intro. It's like Mass Man, Mass <laughs> Man. Uh, oh man, I need to somehow like find people to chant that for me so I can <laughs> I I'm sure you could crowdsource it given the number of people in the server. Mm. Uh, oh yeah. Ah uh, yeah, it's good old Tommy Why So again. <laughs> His finish the I kill you, you bastard. I, I, I'll never get over that. <laughs> I will also not get over that song ever. Oh, like. What, what the fuck is that song? Um. That's a good question. <laughs> it's certainly something. Also. also LPFWA Tommy Wiseau is way more animated than the real Tommy Wiseau. I mean... But then again, like... Maybe he's just... Like, in real life, super active, playing football on rooftops all the time. Well, then again, like, real-life Tommy Wiseau is, like, pushing 60, apparently, so... Well, he looks old, but not that old. Again, we, we have no idea how old he actually is because, like, no one knows anything about him. Well, apparently they figured out he's from Poland, so that's something. <laughs> also that he made the room, and... And, uh, and I'm sure Poland is very proud to claim him as their own. Uh, yeah? But hey, it's El Catira Retro's debut match. A promising new superstar here in the LPFWA. Let's see how he does tonight. We've never seen him before. He didn't hold a title before, too, so... 
<laughs> so yeah. And if he had a title, he'd be bringing it from a different promotion, clearly. <laughs> Man, Tommy doesn't like uh, new new guys, I suppose. Mm. Oh man, was the the Tommy punch from the top <laughs> rope? <laughs> uh, I said this before, but they gave him like deliberately some of the shittiest looking moves as his finishes and signatures. <laughs> Well, the, the man is the disaster artist. I mean, yeah, he is. <laughs> I am drinking whiskey out of a coffee cup again, by the way. <laughs> Seems healthy. It worked out last time, so it'll work out this time, I think. Is it, is it a DCB brand copy mug, though? That's the important question. Um, no, actually, it's a, a Smarties brand coffee mug. It's, like, <laughs> ancient. It has, like, um, like 101 Dalmatians art on it. Uh, oh, my th God. That's how you know it's old. <laughs> 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 I uh, got that from my parents when I moved out. <laughs> Here's a cup. You like that as a kid. Take it. <laughs> and yeah, Fruity, of course, I'm the class, yes, you know it. Especially <laughs> all those times you got very drunk and I recorded it and uploaded it. <laughs> and I was sober at the time. <laughs> I actually was. I'm not always a drunk person, that's just what I want to get across here. Ah, interesting pinfall attempt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love how, like, the Buscus match was actually a really good and fun match, and this has just been a complete awkward shit show so far. Well, you say that, but now we get springboard moves. Oh. El Quiete Arrecho is pulling out some high-flying moves here in his debut. Yep, he just needs to show the, the crowd his stuff. Like, they don't know mm. him yet, so clearly, he just needs to make an impression. Well, best of luck with that, because Tommy's making an impression with the back of his head all over the mat. Hello! I mean, I mean Tommy's been, been winning so far, so... Makes sense. He also needs to look strong. <laughs> also... I have no idea who that move hurt more. Oh, El Quiete with the scissor kick. Ah, uh, the good old sling blade. <laughs> or as Matt Stryker apparently calls it, the Tanahashi. Alright. <laughs> and. Al Kiete is trying to rip Tommy Wiseau's mask off without realizing he's not actually a lucha wrestler. <laughs> we don't know it's not a mask. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe he's onto something here. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> what happens if Tommy Wiseau loses his mask? Literally the entire audience will go insane from looking upon his true face. Hmm. Ah, well... Today oh, is the audience. day of, of drop kicks, apparently. <laughs> I guess, yeah. It's a shame you can't work the word drop kicking to an LPFWA title. I mean... We, we, we could bend the rules. <laughs> Maybe we can allow, like, compound words or something. Someone will figure it out. Yes. Our uh, audience, reliable as, as always, will find a way. Ah, uh, yeah, he's taunting after a yeah. Russian leg sweep. High impact move. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Fruity. 
<laughs> it's been done before, so I'm not gonna allow it, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we can only have, like, one blatant cheat title a season. Yeah, I mean, we didn't have it this season, but last season, but, <laughs> but still, we had it before. <laughs> Like, we could could have, like, one every two or three seasons. <laughs> oh, man. It's getting closer now. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Tommy's Tom throwing a tantrum. <laughs> yeah, Tommy's mad. Ooh. When he does that, you should call that one the I'm fed up with this world. <laughs> Uh, and <laughs> wait, that was a win. What? It was a that was a roll up. Yes. I'm glad we had like a victory due to some kind of roll up move. <laughs> well, congratulations to Alkiti Arecho for winning his debut match here in LPFWA, and we wish him good luck with his debut next week as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> May there be many debuts to come. <laughs> <laughs> for this young upstart. Mm. Rookie of the year. Every year. Every day. Always. <laughs> Maybe one day he'll get super swole. <laughs> you should honestly do that. Just like surprise everyone and just like, yeah, edit him. And then he comes out like just fucking buff for no reason. Well... You say that, but what I've been doing so far was just I, I I raised his buff meter slightly with every appearance, and no one's noticed so far. Except <laughs> now that I pointed it out, obviously. <laughs> Way to go, dumbass. <laughs> Man, Tommy's mad. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> and Katira Arecho is happy. Of course he is. Yeah, Tom, Tom, yeah. Tommy's going, it's not over, everybody betrayed me, I'm fed up with this world, and shoot, shoots himself in the middle of the ring. <laughs> and thus ends Tommy Wiseau's LPFWA career. <sighs> I wish I could, like, add, like, a cu uh, custom loss animation or something that's... <laughs> Just that. Mm. Look at that, a four-way. Mm. I think those are all people that Dash has lost to before, except Lore. Probably. And of course Lore comes in with his signature dual power gloves again. <laughs> it's doubly bad. Yeah, it's, it's two negatives. Makes it positive. <laughs> That's how math works. <laughs> Like, actual math or Steiner math? I mean, Steiner math doesn't really work that way. I was gonna say, God, can Steiner math even handle negative integers? Okay, I, I think... I, I haven't studied Steiner math, but I think... Steiner math can handle anything. Because oh. normally if two maths go one on one... <laughs> <laughs> there's a fifth. Oh god, I can't even continue that. Yeah, there's a 50% chance of. Okay, clearly we need to get the real expert on to explain this. A man who owns a restaurant. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, he is in the, in the LFW canon, so he could technically show up again. <laughs> Why you. What? When when Ric Flair loses, eventually you need to rig the draw so that he, they just, you just send them all up against Steiner now. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Steiner's not even like in the ra Oh no, it's like a poll between Scott Steiner, Samoa Joe, and Kurt Angle. And I'm just rigging it beforehand. So Steiner has like 141 and two thirds uh, <laughs> percent of, of the votes. <laughs> I <don't> know. <laughs> And Kurt Angle has none, because he won't even try. <laughs> and Samoa Cho, I don't even know. I don't even know. Samoa Cho apparently writes comic books now. That's fucking weird. Does he? Yeah, he writes like for the uh, official like uh, WWE comic book series that they've got. Really? I didn't yeah, even I saw, know like, that. 
I, I saw an article on like IGN like last week or something talking about oh Samoa Joe writes comics now and I'm going the fuck. I mean Samoa Joe is good. He's he's like, he's great. So maybe he can write. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I never actually read WWE comics. Yeah, me me neither. Like I like I read like actual comics, like graphic novels and stuff. But just the fact that the WWE has comics just weirds me the fuck out, even though like you know, they were doing shit like that back in the eighties and nineties. I mean someone's probably buying them, I guess. Oh god, yeah, well like the WWE just wants to be like a live action comic book already, so it's a really bad comic book, though. <laughs> like, I like to compare wrestling to shonen anime. And WWE is a pretty bad anime. <laughs> well, PFWA, on the other hand, is the best anime ever. Clearly. So when are we getting our deal with Crunchyroll, then? Maybe I'll contact them, like, tomorrow or something, see what I can do. <laughs> uh, if if LPFW ever gets a deal with Crunchyroll, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. <laughs> like, I think that's just too much for me. <laughs> it's technically animated, look at that. Like, it's it's not still images, it's, it's animation. Oh. If Ruby can get on there, we got a shot. But it is Ruby on Crunchyroll? I don't honestly know or care. Um, I mean, we, we can. If it is, we can plug it some through Kylo Ren, and um, <laughs> m maybe that'll help us. Look at this hero dash render. Mm. Or are you contractually obligated to root for him now? No. I won against him. I just I beat his ass. He actually owes me booze. He didn't deliver. <laughs> I hope he loses. Like <laughs> I hope he just gets punched in the beginning and then is out cold forever. <laughs> and the other three have a good match from there on. <laughs> I honestly forgot who the first wrestler that came out was like, wait a minute, did, like, is Dash the third person out? And then I remembered when I saw him, oh wait, it's Lorcan. <laughs> Lork Lork yep. Well, Lors got a pretty cool entrance song, though. I, think. I didn't... I literally did not hear any because I can't hear it over the uh, screen share. Wait, I can make it louder, but it will be too loud again. <laughs> yeah, no, it's we we don't we went over this like for twenty minutes before the start. We don't need to fiddle with the audio settings. I mean, I'm fiddling with it all the time, throughout the stream. I did not need to hear that, Iggy. Ah, <sighs> oh, man, look at that! Dash is getting his ass kicked. I like it. <laughs> And Lotus is also going to town on Lore Convoluter. Oh, da Dash is dead outside the ring now. Oh, oh Goatman's going back out. No, oh, and he's back. In God damn it. <laughs> Goatman has some interest. Oh my god, really? What? <laughs> Lotus uh. got robbed. <laughs> I mean, of a one count, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ah, well. I hope Goatman can just kill Dash. <laughs> Looks promising, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, give, given how obese he is, I think Dash's heart is going to kill Dash before anything else does at this point. <laughs> I mean, before this match, he's had, um, like, four pizzas, three whole chickens, <laughs> and uh, a single Mars bar. 
Yeah, not not to mention an entire keg of beer. Yeah, exactly. The beer that he claims he doesn't have, so I don't get it. And about six packs of cigarettes, too. <laughs> Bash has a six pack. <laughs> uh. <laughs> of cigarettes, yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, six packs a six pack. <laughs> but I didn't know cigarettes came in six packs. <laughs> Then again, I don't smoke, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Me neither. Although, people in my family did, and like, they would like go to like a wholesale store or whatnot and just get like literal, like, giant long boxes full of cigarettes. And <laughs> you got like a, a thousand of them in one box, and I'm going like, what the fuck? <sighs> yes. Smoking. It's cool, guys. Uh, no, I, th I thought we are supposed to do anti-smoking ads, because, like, LPFWA is a family show. Oh, oh yeah, smoking is bad. Don't smoke. It's, 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 it's <laughs> not healthy. Smoking kills or something. <laughs> Maybe just take unhealthy amounts of caffeine instead. <laughs> Anyway, in this family-friendly show, we have a completely drunk Dash Rander in the ring right now. And what was that? <laughs> I, he, 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 just, he just really needed to get to the other side of Lore Convoluted to pull that move off, so he did it in the most parkour way possible. Uh, I don't understand. Be because you know, Iggy, parkour is all about moving as efficiently from one place to another as possible. I mean, yeah, I get that, but, but, but still, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna gonna roll with that now. <laughs> that was an interesting armbar. <laughs> wow! <laughs> what? <laughs> just... I I do. Yeah, I, I do love that this is just, like, adding to the image of, like, lore convoluter, just, like, some flailing putz who's just wandered into the ring. Oh my god. Dash just attacked Lotus w with his butt. <laughs> oh, he- did he do the Rikishi? No, not that. Just, <laughs> like, oh. like, he did a, like, a punch, only, instead of using his fists, he used his butt. Nice. I don't know what to call just a butt strike. <laughs> also, da Dash kicked Lore Convoluter so hard it actually hurt Goatman. <laughs> uh, impressive. <laughs> oh, Again, man. This is a. Oh, Dash's big meaty fists. Oh, and it actually drew blood. One, two. Three. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> no one thought that would happen. Not even Lotus, because he kept attacking Goatman. Well, you just know Dash is going to be at the LPFWA open bar now going, Did I ever tell you about the time I punched a man so hard it hit three people? <laughs> uh, <laughs> too bad it's also true. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't even be lying. <laughs> uh, also... DCB, why are you booing? This means that you have a chance of winning now. Because if if the game is decided, what the fuck was that? Helm question it. Uh, okay, but yeah, like if the game is decided, it's going to let Dash win for once. Maybe it's going to take pity on you too. I'm not sure the game has that much pity. <laughs> I mean. I'm, I'm waiting for when you have to resort to, like, actually physically controlling DCB yourself, and you still lose. <laughs> <laughs> I can set it to easy and probably still lose. I, I don't know. Like, DCB is not weaker than anybody else. I, I didn't make that happen intentionally. It's just the universe conspires against DCB. <laughs> it's just a thing that apparently happened. I, I, I'm sad about it, too. I'm, I'm actually sad about it. Hey, now we have a ghost against someone who's, like, dead, according to Kylo Ren. 
Mm. So it's ghost versus ghost, I guess. Uh, yeah, ghost versus ghost, space wizard. Well, they they both have the pimp cane walk when they come out. Only you don't get to see it for Palpatine because he's got the stupid belt on oh, right oh, now. If, if Palpy's dead, like he's not. But if, if Palpy would be dead, would he be a space necromancer and would he have like a phylactery? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that before. Ah <laughs> uh, hell. God, st Star Wars is weird enough without bringing necromancy into it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> anything goes, right? <laughs> There's like force ghosts and stuff. Mm. So clearly the dead aren't entirely dead. They're just like... Oh, did, did did you see what Ryan Johnson did on Twitter like the other day? Um, I, I'm going to say no. Uh, basically, like, the man has been owning all these idiots who have like this absurd hate on for The Last Jedi for like a s solid month now. So, like, I won't spoil anything, but people were, like, dragging him on Twitter about, like, oh, how was Luke able to do this bullshit thing that he was able to do at the end of the movie? So, Ryan Johnson, like, literally, like, goes to his bookshop, pulls out one of the published, like, Star Wars Jedi manuals, <laughs> open, opens it up, and, like, takes a screenshot of, like, you know, literally the description of the thing Luke did in the uh, end of Last Jedi, and it's like, your move, dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't seen the movie yet. All I know is that some some um, special people, I'm gonna say, uh, made a, a a woman less cut of it or something. <laughs> and it's like 45 minutes long. You're like, why though? Do women really offend you that much? Clearly. <laughs> What's so bad about women? I don't know. I. I, I all the women I know are fine people, except. Some, which applies to all people, I suppose. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe I'll make like um, a cut without men. Is that gonna work? I don't know, like, people have actually <laughs> talked about doing it. <laughs> it might just be some scenery shots in the end, five minutes long or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ah, oh, yeah, the two sweeting each other. <laughs> but we still don't get the trombone entrance, unfortunately. Uh, the, well, here's hoping Palpatine loses then, finally. And for some reason, uh, the belts don't have the names of the people on them this time. I don't it's, understand why. It's just. It, it's not a bug, it's a feature. It's. Oh, yes, it's a feature. <laughs> Because the game already knows that Woolsey is clearly going to win, so they just removed Palpy's name from the belt. <laughs> or maybe because Palpy is probably dead, but actually not. Oh yeah, he's twerking again. Uh, I'm glad I get to see that again. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were the one who decided to give him an open robe and no pants, so I guess this is, <laughs> this is coming back on you, buddy. I mean, I don't mind it. It's okay. <laughs> I think it's good character work. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, Palpatine does strike me as the kind of guy who would just, like, invite someone up to his throne room and does go commando <laughs> in his robe. <laughs> just to fuck with someone. <laughs> oh, damn it. I think I yeah, pulled up some whiskey through my nose just now. Oh, God. <laughs> I was gonna say I had to laugh. <laughs> kind of burns now in my nose. Oh are, my God! Are, are you okay? Yeah, but but my eyes are tearing up. Oh my God! Uh, like, I think I'm dying. Say, it's fine though. Like, the, yeah, the, this is gonna be the, my crowning LP achievement. I made a joke so funny it literally killed a man live on, tel <laughs> on live on the internet. Well, I'm glad I could be that guy. That joke wasn't even that great. I just laughed because I'm, I'm trying to be polite here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I think I'm okay now, though. <laughs> <laughs> DCB with a chaos dunk, killed by whiskey, the most iggy way to go out. And I'm, I'm not usually drunk. <laughs> like, I, I have a day job, okay? I can't be drunk during my day job. <laughs> and I can't, like, binge drink, like, on the nights, because I have to work the next day. Except tomorrow, so... <laughs> 
Here's my cup of whiskey. <laughs> mm. It's uh, it's all I have left though. <laughs> really, I don't have any more booze in my in my house. So, uh, depending who you are, I either fortunately or unfortunately can't get completely shitfaced. <laughs> oh man, it's the palpy move. Uh. One of them, like he has a couple moves, but this is a signature move. I'm honestly surprised, given given how much he's won over the course of the season so far. We've only seen the Galactic Elbow like twice. Oh, we've seen it more often than that. But okay, it, it, well, it happens more rarely than it used to because AIs are kind of dumb about using ground moves now. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I don't like... I'm kind of in like the paradoxical position of like, I hope Palpatine loses, but I also want to see him at least pull off a Galactic Elbow in this match. Oh! oh. What the hell? And the crowd chants. Of course it does. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I, they I love their yeah they love their eagle evil space tyrant. <laughs> I can't believe he's winning so much because he sucked last season. I know. Like I'm going like what the hell? Like it, it was almost hilarious how much he sucked last year. <laughs> and I, I was I was kind of expecting it to continue, and then, like, holy shit, he's actually good this time. Yeah, it's really weird, because last time, it just made his rise to power eventually, like, all the funnier, but... <laughs> <laughs> if I did it now, it would actually mean he did something competently instead of stumbling into it, so... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Really, I didn't expect him to, like, win that much. He's the longest reigning buddy <laughs> champion of all time. What an accomplishment. I mean, the belt is, like, three months old, so... <laughs> <laughs> but that's still... He's the longest reigning bunny champion of all time. Uh, it's... it's. I think that's his signature or something. Oh. Man, look at Face distracting the ref. <laughs> that shouldn't even count. That shouldn't no. count. <laughs> no, no, he's arguing with Woolsey. Yeah, co cool. I can dig it. Oh. <sighs> well, uh, it's... Nope. Nope, just going for the straight pin. One, and nope. And one. Just yeah. one. I'm glad when they try to just go for the pin after a really shitty move. <laughs> I'm even more glad if it actually works. Like, I don't know, like, I know nothing about programming, but I kind of want to see that if-then-else sequence that, like, leads to that. <laughs> uh. Ow. Why would you do that? Why would you punch someone in the elbow? Oh, the galactic power bomb or whatever it's called. The Imperial Power Bomb. Imperial yeah, Power Bomb, yeah. Okay, it's a Galactic Elbow, yeah. the Imperial Power Bomb. Okay, okay. Yeah. I forget. And that's it. <laughs> well, <laughs> what a surprise. Palpatine wins again. The how many defense is that now? Successful? I mean, last time he only maintained, like, retained the title because, because like, he, he lost due to DQ. Like, yeah, it was, it was a DQ, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At, at this point, like, you should just literally just blow him up. Like, I don't give a shit anymore. I blew him up already! It, it, it did... needs to stick this time, though. <laughs> I mean, okay, if he can survive an explosion, and, like, if he can survive being thrown down some shaft by Darth Vader, and then have the Death Star explode around him, what's gonna kill Palpatine? Mm, oh. I have said repeatedly that Palpatine is basically LPFWA's Vince McMahon, so you know. Uh, only he's uh, he's a much more active wrestler, at least. Mm, and he has no real power here. Maybe eventually he can just take off his towel and say, It's me, Austin. It was me all along. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> as though someone didn't know what was underneath. I was gonna uh, say, did, didn't didn't I pitch that to you once about like have Palpatine come out in like a robe and he takes it off and there's just another robe underneath it? <laughs> uh, I mean, he doesn't have a robe. He has okay, he's a bathrobe, but <laughs> uh, I, I yeah, I, I'm glad he's just kind of a boot like Palpatine. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Oh, it's time for the big match. Oh, here we go. We've had this schedule for like a couple of weeks ago, but then uh, DCB got viciously attacked backstage by <laughs> Helena, I think. And she was basically too dead to wrestle. So we canceled that match. <laughs> but now we're gonna have it. Look at that. Lady of the Lancet versus... DZB and Leia Lancet actually had like a a pretty big win last time she had a match, so mm. maybe she's not as bad as I thought. Maybe she's gonna kick DZB's ass. Ah, I'm sorry. Let's see. Could this possibly be <laughs> the one after literally three years of trying? I I want to see it. I just want to see DZB succeed. Same here. Like, even if she has to win through disqualification, like, just anything at this point. No, it needs to be a clean victory in a one-on-one -on -one match, because it, it wouldn't mean anything otherwise. Also, I will never get tired of seeing her intro. This is amazing. Oh, yes. Like fun, fun fact, her intro is only that way, because... Uh, during like the last LPWA, uh, I, I I had to find an entrance that was short enough for the song because the song's like forty seconds long. <laughs> it totally works though. That's the thing. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Like, like I can't imagine like her coming into the ring any other way at this point. No, no, no. It it wouldn't work. She's DCB. She's like really high on caffeine. She's, she's a caffeine elemental at this point. This is canon, by the way. Um, <laughs> this happened. There was a time when there was no coffee on the moon and she died. So they infused <laughs> her with coffee. <laughs> and she, she lived again. <laughs> uh, I like our, our lore. It's great. Uh, and we get some Come like and Conquer music. It's like, <laughs> again, like, I love the fact that, like, even in-universe, lore convoluter is completely fucking useless because <laughs> the lore is already so convoluted already. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought when I saw the submission at first. <laughs> what are you trying to convolute? How are you going to make it worse? <laughs> <laughs> like, just a, a plate of spaghetti is, is like, like, less convoluted than this. Mm. And maybe maybe the cell of timeline is worse, but that's a special case. Because <laughs> rem remember, you're you're not seeing it in the video, but this is actually taking place on the moon, which has slingshotted around the sun and is working its way back towards the Earth. I think we're just crossing the orbit of Mercury at this point, and also the moon has had both Doctor Wrath and Jamie the D's name carved into it with giant lasers. <laughs> I think it's only Dr. Rath's name. Okay, maybe, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can like um, retcon something here. I don't know. I'm the god of this a, world. I was gonna say I have a picture of Jamie's name on the moon. I can show you if you really need evidence. I know you made it. <laughs> <laughs> I I just like that. Like Jamie's name on your picture is just really pretty. Like like basically with diamonds and everything. And yeah, Dr. Wrath like, is just like a shitty <laughs> burnt in. Uh, yeah. Well, the. I was going again, going off the canon of the one you made, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I put a lot of effort into that, so. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, damn, DCB's actually doing pretty good now, and oh, yeah. I'm not sure just shit the bed now that I've said that. Yep, here it goes. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh. The, the thing is, DZB is basically like Ray Phoenix, who is a wrestler from Lucha Underground, 
who either gets his shit kicked in for the entire match and then wins, or he he kicks his opponent's ass for the entire match and then loses. <laughs> Only without the winning part in DCV's case. Well, see, the thing is, it, it's always been these matches where she dominates and then loses. <laughs> I can't wait for her to win. It's going to be a really special moment. Uh, and it's and that's the thing. It's just going to come right out of nowhere, too. Yeah, just during our regular episode of Monday Night Raw or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how about the next pay-per-view will just be Monday Night Raw? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh that was so I was almost. That was so, yeah. That was actually close. I, he actually hit the mat. Just mm. yeah, yeah. I almost won. I'm gonna taunt in the corner. Ooh. Ah <laughs> oh, man, DZB making the comeback. I I really wanted to be the one time she actually wins. <laughs> To me, like, the most emblematic thing was, like, back when we were on Hitbox and, like, literally the entire chat turned their names green in support for DCB. And oh, she yeah. Still, and she still fucking lost. I remember that. I turned my name green, too, because I wanted her to win. <laughs> Maybe I should turn my name green right now. I'm, I'm gonna do it. It's pink now, because that's just my style, but, you know. Okay. Everyone, give DCB your energy again, and let's see if she can not fuck it up. <laughs> uh, well, let me try that again. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys! <laughs> colon, colon four. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. Colon four. It's colon four now. It's better than colon three, because it's a higher number. <laughs> I'm, I'm green for DCB. It, it, I, I wish I could just could just swallow my principles and record so many matches until I get the result I want like DZB <laughs> winning 100% of the time but I can't do it to fuck to <laughs> well <sighs> time to change my name again until the next DZB uh, match the woman is nothing if not consistent, ladies and gentlemen. You tried, DCB. You tried. You tried. You tried pretty damn hard. Pretty damn good. But the universe somehow just really hates you. I don't know why. Because you're not a bad person or anything. It's just... It's just... The, the fabric of destiny is a huge dick. To you specifically. <laughs> <sighs> okay, uh. may maybe that should be the the next pay per view. Just the divine coffee tournament, and it's just DCB <laughs> versus literally fucking everyone we have to throw at her <laughs> until she wins, she and she yeah, still she, loses she, like she... ten times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gonna happen. You just know it, because. <laughs> I want her to win though. Like I'm not lying, I want it to happen. And they want it to happen Same. naturally. Same here, honestly. Yeah. Like this is like one of the reasons why like every match she is on on every show, I specifically watch that match just because it's like, okay, is this going to be the one? And it turns out no, it will never be the one. No, it will be the one eventually. <laughs> I hope. I believe. You gotta believe. <sighs> Look who it is, though. Uh. Look who it is. <laughs> ah. It looks like uh, Kylo was rehearsing his weird ass <laughs> um <laughs> uh, whatever speech he's gonna gonna hold. As he should, because the man needs some, you know charisma lessons 
in in universe, I'm saying like Adam Driver does a damn good job playing Kylo Ren in the movies, but it's just in universe Kylo Ren is just an absolute fucking nerd like dork. <laughs> uh yes, yes he is. And, like I've I've only recently seen The Force Awakens, and yes, I I I can say that Baltic Search's portrayal of Kylo is too far off. <laughs> <laughs> It's quite faithful, actually. And again, like, without going too deep into Last Jedi spoilers, like, I really hope at some point, like, small Kylo Ren shows up in LTFWA. <laughs> Just like, this giant motherfucker who's, like, all chest and a tiny head. <laughs> uh... <sighs> I wish I could just create tiny head people. Why can't I? <laughs> Fucking WWE 2K18. Let me do fun stuff, okay? Again, like, I'm ruining it by saying it, but that should be the surprise match. Send, like, swole Kylo Ren against the suddenly buff El Kitia Recho and just completely just drop it on people randomly. Oh, we're gonna have, like, a weird true form match, like, last season where Iggy fought Eclectic Tastes, and Eclectic Tastes was, like, pimp coat and shirtless, and Iggy just had no <laughs> pants. <laughs> <laughs> that was their true form. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... It's not the first time we'd repeat something. Nope. Oh, look, the main uh, event. <laughs> <laughs> and neither of the wrestlers in it are have the ad space for it. <laughs> I, I, I fucking love all these dumbass ads I made for Palpatine. There's like a million of them. Oh, I know. <laughs> Just like, I, I'm with she, but make LPFWA not suck again. That would imply that LPFWA is sucking and isn't always 100% great. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, best thing that I've, happened ever. Uh, I've got to keep it in kayfabe, though. Oh yeah, right, kayfabe, yeah. Which is <laughs> why Pelpy gets like an SLW logo on the Titan Tron when he walks in. <laughs> I was so glad when I figured out that he could just import stuff from just outside the game into the game. Nice. And look, it's a tree. <laughs> Doing tree stuff. Yep. And clearly, the tree is responsible for Palpatine's quote unquote death. Um, <laughs> at least that's what Emily later told Kylo. <laughs> <laughs> Who is very trustworthy and not known for blowing stuff up. Yep. Maybe there should be a lady bus. <laughs> I don't want to do it though. I I don't want to do it <laughs> because it would just be very depressing. Until it isn't eventually, <laughs> like with Lotus, who pulled through. I'll just give DCP a chance every show from now on. <laughs> And when she wins, it's just gonna be... It's just gonna be great. Again, like, you should make, like, a, you know... I I don't want to say, like, a shitty knockoff, but just, like, a male version of DCB. Like, same outfit and everything. Like, if you get the long blonde hair and just, like, send her up against the male roster and see if she can actually win a match that way. <laughs> uh, oh, man. You're giving me ideas. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Well, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Look at that edge lord, not even twerking. No. He doesn't have the belt, he can't twerk with it. That's kind of true. Maybe he'll win it and can twerk with it later, I don't know. Oh god, what if he has a twerk animation I don't know it and I find out the hard way? <laughs> 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 oh god, that's gonna be so good. I'm, I'm just disappointed tree doesn't twerk. He's a tree, trees don't twerk. They just stand like, there. It It is more fitting that he doesn't, but at the same time it's funnier if he does. Yeah, but when Palpy does it, it's, it's not funnier, it's more disturbing. Yeah, because yeah, the man's not wearing any fucking pants. 
Why would he? He just came fresh out of the shower and is just wearing a bathrobe and a towel on his head. <laughs> hey, good start I, I for Kylo, it. I guess. Yeah, again, that's another move where I don't know who that hurt more. Well, it's a sunset flip power bomb. It always hurts the person who, uh, who's hit by it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know if this game, like, damages both wrestlers on some moves a little bit. Because there's clearly some moves where that should happen. Like superplexes from the top rope and stuff. That should hurt, like, both wrestlers. Mm. Well, good luck, Kylo. Yeah. And <laughs> I, again, like, I gotta say, like, it is perfectly in keeping with Star Wars canon for Kylo Ren to get his ass kicked by a fucking forest. <laughs> it's just a tree, not a forest. It's a single tree. Six of one, <laughs> half a dozen of the other. Oh, wow. Holy shit. That was cool. Spe speaking of Kylo Ren, like I, I saw something really cool like the other week about uh, how uh, you know how Kylo Ren's in Battlefront 2 as like a hero character. Huh? So some someone's actually made a mod for Battlefront 2 that replaces Kylo Ren with Matt the Radar Technician from Saturday Night Live. Okay. <laughs> that seems uh, like a very specific mod. Um. It. It is, and it's great. I've seen it in action. There's demand for that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, again, I, uh, I don't know how popular SNL is over in Germany, but uh, like when they actually did that skit uh, with Adam Driver, it was really, really, really funny. Well, I never heard on it, so it's probably not popular here at all. Oh, <laughs> basically, I guess the the explanation was like a. A couple of months after, like, Force Awakened premiered in theaters, like, uh, Adam Driver was, like, a guest host for SNL. And uh, he basically did, like, a like a skit that was basically undercover boss, Starkiller base. So Kylo Ren goes undercover as Matt, the radar technician, and it's him in, like, giant nerd glasses and, like, an orange safety vest and, like, a bright blonde wig. <laughs> oh, now it makes and sense. Yeah, and it's basically him trying to pretend to be, like, this no-name radar technician, and literally everyone around him knows that it's Kylo Ren because he's an angry idiot, and he comes out swinging his lightsaber, threatening people with it when they piss him off. So, so someone took the character from SNL, Matt the Radar Technician, and they modeled him into Battlefront 2. It was the Star Killer. Kyle did the Star Killer. Can he win with the oh. Star Killer? I don't know. Let's Wait, find one, out. One, two, nope. Guess he can't. But can <laughs> usually, <laughs> usually he does two in a row though. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, yeah. I was, I was gonna say it usually takes like two or three to finally take someone down. But oh, here we go. Star. Uh, no, that wasn't a Star Killer. That was just um, face planting. And oops. Speaking of face planting. It's the tree's finisher, a tree falling while no one's watching, even though there's One, people around. Two, th well, rest in peace, Kylo or whoever. I don't know. <sighs> I'm seeing how how Kylo was pretty like dominant in in the tag matches he was in. This is kind of weird for him to be defeated by a tree. <laughs> Oh, not well. There could be worse things for Kylo. He could lose to Ric Flair as well, right up next. Oh god, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh yeah, it's two matches back to back. Although the one isn't canon, so... Unless he decided it is. <laughs> but it's... I don't plan on it being... Like, fuck, maybe I do... I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm making the... Oh god. Do I wanna... No. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop now. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good for the health of the stream.
<laughs> Whatever that means. Iggy, are you drunk? No. Um, Twitch <laughs> says the stream health is excellent. It actually does say that. I could take a screenshot of that. I believe you. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> ah, well. Yep, so Kyla got his ass kicked by a tree, and up next, he's up against Ric Flair, who in my head canon is basically a tree. No, I was, I was gonna say, like, first he got his ass kicked by a tree, now he's gonna get his ass kicked by a strip of leather. Well, here, here's the thing. There's this boss in Dark Souls 3 called the Curse Rotted Greatwood, and it has a move where it just falls down like Ric Flair, so I call the Curse Rotted Greatwood Ric Flair sometimes. <laughs> So he's up against another tree right now. Or a strip of leather. Because <laughs> uh, Ric Flair is basically like... Yeah. He's too old. Yeah. And like, this was like, even in 1991, he looked like a fucking handbag. Well, this is 92. Oh. <laughs> like, this is 92 Ric Flair. But th there's a difference? Like, is, I thought he was Ric Flair 91. Oh, maybe he's 91, I don't know, maybe- I- fuck, maybe he is. Look, it's just one year yeah, that, difference, what could- what difference could it make? Yeah, that, that's the thing, like, the WWE roster has, like, literally an incarnation of Ric Flair for every goddamn year. I think the other one is like 80-something. Uh, there's two of them in this game, at least. <laughs> two Ric Flairs and, like, three John Cena's. Why are there three John Cena's? Well, because, you see, there's... Like... Um... Like, John Cena went through many incarnations over the years. <laughs> he was dressing like a five-year-old John Cena at first. And then he kept dressing like a five-year-old. And... Now he's dressing like a five-year-old. Okay. He's John Cena. <laughs> Like, the color of his shirts changed, I guess, um... <laughs> oh well. Oh god, I've never seen, like, Ric Flair up this close in, like, this level of detail in game. He looks horrifying. <laughs> I love how the crowd woos. Woo! I tried. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Ky Kylo right out of the gate with uh, a decent move. Let's see how long this lasts. Ah, uh, well, that's... That was a good round. Oh, never mind. He's still going. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, he's just kind of kicking Ric Flair around right now. While Perfect Dark music plays in the background. <clears throat> <laughs> what if Kylo Ren threw around Ric Flair for the entirety of this match? Just 20 uh, minutes of Ric Flair being flung from one into the ring to the other, and then he wins with a figure four. I was gonna say it'd be a welcome change from the opposite that tends to happen in these <laughs> matches of just Ric Flair destroying the LPFWA roster. Yeah. He's had, like, two victims so far? Three, maybe? I don't know. I crushed Tommy Wiseau's balls, for Christ's sake. Oh, yeah! He, he really just... Yeah, that happened. Uh, <laughs> How could I forget? I, I am so mad you didn't go with my title for that episode. Oh. Le leathery pop bundles Wiseau's area. <laughs> it, it was a close contender. <laughs> Although, really, it should have been, like, leathery ponts, fondles, why so's area, but whatever, I'm not splitting hairs. Maybe we can have another Ric Flair versus, uh, Tommy Wiseau match. <laughs> and oh, we can God. use that one, I don't know. Can Ric Flair fondle Kylo Ren's area, though? I don't know. I can't believe he won by grabbing his balls! God damn it! <laughs> that happened! <laughs> Like, he had, like, so many moves! Like, he did, like, two figure fours! 
and then he just grabbed his balls and won. Like, imagine having your balls just crushed by an like 70 year old man. <laughs> and then he just. And that... <sighs> yeah, and and that's the irony because like <laughs> I have no fucking doubt that Ric Flair has molested his way through half the goddamn WWF WWE. WWE and WWE or WCW roster and locker rooms. I mean, there was this plane ride from hell, where he basically did like the helicopter with his dick and harassed a flight attendant, and it's sexual harassment <laughs> and it isn't funny, but he did the fucking helicopter with his dick. Uh, like that's Ric Flair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's fucking Ric Flair. It's like, you know, like I have like experience Ric Flair mostly in his post wrestling days and it's like literally every goddamn thing I learn about the man just makes him out to be like a complete monster asshole so I'm going like why do people like him well I I mean sometimes when you describe something in wrestling it doesn't seem cool but then you see it and um he, he says woo a lot that's cool and again like even the footage I've seen of Ric Flair in his prime doesn't make him out to be all that impressive. Yeah, I and mean, the wrestling was different back then. You can hardly compare that, but yeah. By today's standards, his matches weren't really, like, uh, super impressive. Mm. Oh, I know, like, late 80s, early 90s, WWF was just awkward as hell. Yeah. Like, it was Like, it was the era of the legends, like, you know... Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, Macho Man. But it's like, the Attitude Era was really when wrestling became wrestling, to me at least. Yeah, and then the Attitude Era ended, but here's a figure for Leglock. Oh, yep, here we go, it's all over, folks. Oh, can Kylo break out, or will he tap? Oh, no, just, Ric Flair just... Releases the hold, okay. Yeah, yeah, Rick just got bored. Like, that wasn't a reversal, which usually happens. He just gave up. And now he's got another pin! <laughs> because why not? <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? If that had worked, I, uh, I don't know. Don't, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, Rick <Ric> Flair. <laughs> Yeah, what one does not question the Nature Boy's choices, even though he has made a lot of questionable decisions over the course of his life. I mean, he is oh, Ric Star Flair, Killer. so yeah. Oh yeah, Star yeah. Killer. He is a Ric yeah. Flair is a star. Oh my God, did he just <laughs> kill Ric Flair, who is a star with the uh, Star Killer? Let's see. one, two. Could this be? Nope. No, oh, of course so not. Ric Flair is not wearing his red trunks. That's how you know he's gonna win. Because well, he only wears well, red when he loses. Well, hang on, he's going for number two. That's not a star killer. That's um, a corp screw butt star thing. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, Ric Flair's kind of dead right now. So yeah. Then again, this is how Ric Flair matches go. He gets the shit beaten out of him, and then he does stuff and wins. Like he just grabs yeah, him by the balls and he dies. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here's the comeback. Oh, oh never oh, mind. Jesus. <laughs> just, just throwing. Oh. Yeah, he just what? Going full. What? 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 Huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen that before. Like, me neither. But it, but it was like, yeah, like that punch. Like it looked like uh, Kylo just went like full Scott Steiner on him and like actually physically hit him. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, uh, I'm glad there's like spots that can still surprise us because. Yeah. <laughs> well, it it's a 2K game. The game is so badly coded that like literally anything could happen at any point in it. But that's what makes it interesting. Yeah. <laughs> also, like. I'm just sort of noticing that, like, Kylo Ren is, like, even just against Ric Flair, he is ungodly huge in comparison. Oh, yeah, he is pretty big. But he does, like, some flippy shit. 
<laughs> oh, is he gonna? Uh, Star Killer number three asterisk. Oh, Star Killer? Yeah. Did you kill that star? I don't know. Let's see. He's got to be dead at this point, right? One, two. Holy shit! Kylo defeated Rick Flair. Something that not even Tommy Wiseau could do. Uh, you, you know good old Kylo Renny's really great at killing people. <laughs> yeah. Especially stars. Yeah. Like Ric Flair, who's a star. I didn't think of that, like, meaning of the word star killer before. It's kind of like Randy Orton is the legend killer. <laughs> well, I suppose that is technically true. Ric Flair is a giant, luminous, flaming bag of gas, so... <laughs> uh, yes. He is that. <laughs> But anyways, there we go. That's LPFWA done for this week, ending on the literal m person. At least we get to hear some Imperial March or something. Some version of it. Yeah, I, I guess that's cool. Alright, well, we're gonna have to go outside and find some place to bury Ric Flair now, but... <laughs> I mean, he just rolled outside the ring, so clearly he's still alive. Like I'm mean, the guy. Where I'm standing. Like Ric Flair's just indestructible, though. Like <laughs> he he came back just last year from some kind of like horrible illness or injury. I don't know. He like cut a fucking promo while still attached <laughs> to like all of the medical equipment he's he needs to like have around him all at all times. <laughs> just I'm indestructible. Yeah. Woo! I'm Ric Flair. <laughs> That's basically what he said. <sighs> I have no doubt. Uh, well, this is it. LPFWA is over. Forever. Thanks. Aww. Until thanks next watching, time. Folks. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the show. I did. Yes. And next time we're going to have surprise more matches. You're kidding. I'm not kidding, friend. Oh my god. This is awesome. <laughs> it's kind of awkward when no one chimes in. Okay, just cut the feed, cut it now, now. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. It's just over. It's it's dead. It's no no 